I've talked about the potential graph for a charged object in between two parallel plates. I, I now want to talk about the gradient of this graph. Now, the gradient of the potential graph actually has a physical meaning. Let's find out what it is. Let me clear this away. Let's start by thinking about, um, say, uh, the gradient at a certain point on the graph. I'm just going to pick any point, say this point. If I want to find the gradient at this point, what I need to do is I need to say draw a, a little a little triangle with, with a right angle triangle, a horizontal and a vertical side. And then I need to divide the vertical side by the horizontal side. So let's see. Now the I'm going to call the the horizontal side. I'm going to call the horizontal side dx. That's the symbol we would use for a small change in x. I'm going to call the vertical side. I'm going to call the vertical side dv, and that's the symbol for small change. A small change in V. So the gradient, the gradient is then the vertical side divided by the horizontal side. Now, if you have learned about differentiation in mathematics and calculus, you would know that this is. A, this actually means differentiating uh, a function of v of x. But we shan't go into that. I'm I'm just now I'm, I'm now just going to take this as the the vertical change divided by the horizontal change, the change in v over the change in x, and this physically gives us a gradient that measures the slope of the graph at this point. So what what I like to do is to is to think about what the physical meaning of this gradient is. So we start by looking at um, the separate meanings of, of those two changes. So this dx here, the dx is just a, a small displacement. All right. And the dv there, if you if we Recall the meaning of V. V is the electric potential. And potential, uh, as we remember, is the potential energy per unit charge. And potential energy is in turn the work done. So electric potential is just the work done on a unit charge. So dV is the work done to move the charge over a small distance. So let's say, for example, when we are here at a certain x, we want to move it by a small distance. Say, um, let's say a small distance dx. So if I want to move it up by a small distance, I need to do some work, and that's the dv. Right? dv is the work. It's the work to move. Uh, a unit charge. So in SI unit, it could be the one coulomb by dx by this small distance. Okay. So one is about the work done. One is about the displacement, the dx. Now, but if you if you think about the meaning of work done, 
I've actually written it down here already. Work done is force times distance. But the D here uh, is, is the same as displacement. So it's work times the displacement. Okay. So what, what is work divided by displacement then? Work divided by displacement must be the force then. Right, if you divide both sides by D, we get the force. So therefore, the gradient is the force. The gradient is the same as the force. And in this case, since we are talking about a unit charge of 1 coulomb, there is really the force on a unit charge, which is the field strength. All right, let, let me uh, just write this down to clarify this. Recall that uh, field strength is really equal to the force per unit charge, force over charge. Okay, so the gradient is really just the force. Okay. Before it gets confusing, let me write this out in full. The gradient is the force, the force on uh, a unit charge. I'll just call it one coulomb in SI units. The gradient is the force on one coulomb, um, and that is just equal to the field strength, which is E. So in fact, we have our physical meaning now. The gradient of the potential graph is the field strength. So let me write down this, this important result. Um, now I'm going to uh, uh, introduce a, a term, I introduce a, a name, right, a standard name for this gradient to make it easier to uh, to describe. Instead of calling it the gradient of the potential graph or the gradient of the electric potential graph all the time, I'm just going to call it the elect the 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 potential gradient. I'm going to call this the potential gradient. And by that, we mean the gradients of the potential graph. The potential gradient. Um, is equal to the field strength. So that's a simple connection. That's a simple connection. Now, but there's one thing that um, we should clarify at this stage. Let me go back to this force and work thing. Now, um, Right, so I was saying that uh, the work done divided by the displacement, like this one, the work done divided by the displacement, should be equal to the force. But there's a question here, which force? Okay, that obviously we have an electrical force that pulls it downwards, but when we talk about potential energy, we're talking about, of or potential, we're talking about the force from from me or from some outside uh, force that that moves the charge against the electric field. Okay, so it's an outside force. So which means that um, the force here that we're talking about when we're talking about potential is really a force that is opposite to the electric force. Therefore, if I want to think about the physical meaning in terms of the field strength, the field strength is actually opposite to, to the force that I, I, I would do work 
when I think about potential. Okay, so this means that, right? Uh, okay, so let let me just say this again. When I talk about the work done to to move uh, the charge from the reference from from this reference level, right? That's that's the work. That's the force uh, that will give the potential value. This is an outside force, and it is opposite to the direction of the electric force. And this gradient here refers to this external force. Okay. So therefore, if I want to relate it to the field strength, I must know that um, this potential, which is actually the bracket equal to the external and external force to needed to overcome the electric field um, to find the potential. So therefore, it must the potential gradient must be in the opposite direction to the field strength. So potential gradient mathematically should be equal to negative of the field strength. So that's how um, we can relate the potential gradient to the field strength. Now, um, so with just one last thing, I just want to do a simple example of calculating uh, the field strength using the potential gradient. So let me put in some numbers for this calculation. Suppose that the distance d in between is 1 cm and the voltage uh, between the two. The voltage meaning the potential difference between the two plates is 1.5 volts, which I can apply with, with a standard battery. Now the, the potential difference simply means the difference in potential between the top plate and the bottom plate. And from the graph, we, we, can, we can see uh, what it refers to. It refers to but that's the potential of the top plate of the top plate, which is up there. That's a, that's the potential of the bottom plate, which is zero. So if the potential difference between the top and bottom plate is 1.5 volts, it means that this distance is 1.5 volts. And if d is 1 cm, it means that this length here is 1 cm. 1 cm. So once we have these numbers on the graph, we can you can see directly how to find this gradient. It so happens that we have a straight line in this graph, so I can simply take 1.5 and divide it by 1 cm in meters. So therefore, therefore, if I if I want to use this formula, if I think of this as a formula, I would say that the field strength, the field strength. which is E, right, that would be equal to the potential gradient, which in this case is 1.5 over 1cm uh, in meters, which is 0 0.01 of a meter. And there must be a minus sign, right, there must be a minus sign. And so the answer is minus of 150. Um, potential gradient volts over meter, so volts per meter. So we have a minus sign here, and what does it mean? Okay, it just means that the field strength is in the negative direction. But have we defined a direction? Actually, yes. Uh, without actually saying it explicitly, I've chosen my x-axis to be pointing upwards, meaning I've chosen up to be the positive direction. So if I have a minus sign here, it means that the electric field strength is pointing downwards, which is correct, 